here I am with Kent Hersey. We're about to get in this helicopter and I think today's going to be a busy day. We've got 30 bison to do in all, don't we? We do. We're hoping to get 20 uh, cows and 10 bulls. So Kent, this herd of bison is arguably one of the wildest and also one of the, the most pure herd. It is. It's one of four herds in the U.S. that's genetically pure, disease-free and free-roaming. And the uniqueness of this herd is it's managed entirely by hunting. We've got Mike Ross and his team preparing the helicopter and, and it's been going to be game on. So what we're putting on here is a collar that does two things, gives us a VHF signal and a satellite signal. And there's a few reasons for putting this collar on, but primarily is to see what the total range of these bison actually is. guys right here, real men. I'm starting to know the drill now that we've done a few. Yeah, a couple. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing to be here. And it's some, you know, not many people get to do and I'm lucky enough to do it. This really is the front line of conservation and these people on the front line are some of the toughest people you'll meet. But if it wasn't for them, there's no one else that's going to turn hunter's dollars into great conservation. Probably the most iconic animal in North America is the bison and it's ironic that it's also the animal that went from being a population of tens of millions right to the very brink of extinction. The wrong humans can push something right off the brink of extinction and yet the right humans can bring it right back. <laughs> 